Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you how in DaVinci Resolve if you're having bad audio playback on your timeline when you're trying to edit your video, or in general you're getting choppy performance while you're editing, then there may be a setting you need to change in order to make sure that your video and audio is playing back in your timeline correctly and smoothly. So let me show you what I mean here. I'm going to go ahead and hit play with this raw clip I brought into the timeline. Hopefully you'll be able to hear how choppy the audio can be. Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how you can actually do a private stream test when you are... So there's a lot of choppiness in there, it doesn't exactly sound synchronized, and I think even the video playback was going a little bit slow. So, what's going on here is that the timeline and the playback frame rate for the project do not actually match the playback frame rate for this video clip. Now, if you go through the whole project and you edit it to completion and you export it, generally it will still work fine when you actually export your video, but it's going to give you a headache while you're editing your video. So the trick to fix this is to go up to file and then project settings. And you'll see under master settings, timeline frame rate and playback frame rate. So for this video, I intentionally set it to the wrong settings. So the timeline frame rate is 24 frames per second here, but the video clip I believe is 30 frames per second. I can go ahead and check on that in a minute. And then the playback frame rate is uh, 30 frames per second here. So if we look in the media pool, I can right click on my clip and go to clip attributes to see that it is recorded in 30 frames per second. So there is a discrepancy here between the timeline frame rate and the frame rate of the clip, and that's obviously causing us some issues. So this leads us to know a couple of things. One, ideally, if we're recording a video, it's a good idea if you can record all of the video clips at the same, which would not only be, which would not only be helpful for your editing process, but also so that when you export it to a certain frame rate, that all of the clips look correct and that there's no choppiness between them, which you might run into if they had differing frame rates to begin with. So you would have seen that the timeline frame rate was actually grayed out. You can't, you can't change it once a timeline has been created unless you delete the existing timelines or go to a new project. So what I actually need to do here is to take the timeline one and delete that. I will remove the selected clip and now I can go up to file and project settings and you'll see that timeline frame rate is now available to change. So I want to set this to 30 for this project and I could go ahead and hit save and change. And that'll be good for right now, but imagine that all of your projects are going to be recorded in 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second. Um, you're probably going to want to change that default setting too, right? So go to project settings and you can do presets. And then if you want to create a new preset with these master settings, so we can see here uh, the video format, we should change that to 30 frames per second as well. Um, so 30 frames per second here, 30 for the playback, 30 for the video format. If we have all that, it should work nicely. And then we can go to presets and we want to save our current settings as a new preset. So when we go to save as, we want to enter a preset name. So I'm going to do 1920 by 1080 for the resolution and then 30 FPS for the frame rate of our videos. Hit OK. And now we can right click on this preset and do save as user default config, which means that when you open a new project with your current user on the computer, it's going to be using these settings by default. So double checking the master settings, making sure everything is correct here. It looks like somehow that got changed. So I'm going to switch that back and let's save the 30 FPS one more time and then right click and save as default user profile. Okay. Checking the master settings. Everything's good. And I'll go back into it one more time just to make sure everything's still good. Okay. So now we can bring the clip back onto a new timeline go to the same part of the video and if we hit space to play hello everybody chris here and in this video i want to show you guys how you can actually do a private stream test when you are now the audio plays back perfectly and there's a lot less choppiness in the video playback so just with that one setting change hopefully we were able to improve your davinci resolve performance when you're editing in the timeline by leaps and bounds so that's going to be it for this video i've been chris thanks for watching and i will see you guys in my future video content